Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Weya and this is where I talk about all things plants. Today, I'm going to go on a plant shopping and I'm going to a shop that offers big box store plants but more on the uncommon side. I already checked their online store so I'm kind of like I kind of know what to expect but at the same time, I'm very excited because I saw that they're on a 30% off so hopefully I'll be able to score some really good plants at a cheaper price. So yeah, now let's go and check out their plants. This is their plant section and they really have a lot of cool and big plants. As soon as we got there, my husband called me and told me he found something really cool and he found a philodendron white princess. Just look at this beauty right here. This one is $19.99 minus 30% off. I went there on such a good day. I went there on the 17th of February and their sale ended on the 19th. So yeah they have a lot of philodendrons like this one is a new purple i think this one is an alocasia halo beauty for 16.99 it's also included in the 30 percent off all of their house plants are actually on 30 percent off when i got there so yeah oh my goodness looking into this footage i'm just getting too excited again they have a lot of alocasias as you can see they have so many cool plants look at my husband showing me all the cool stuff and this one is another philodendron white princess and this one was so difficult to say no to because this one has a really good variegation just look at that leaf right there that's so beautiful so this one as well is $19.99 minus 30% off so I guess for its size and for the variegation it has it's really not a big I mean it's not really a bad price at all this one is another alocasia for 50% off and this one is an alocasia yucatan princess but it's looking a little rough so I wasn't really interested in that they have another halo beauty right here and I'm really interested in this plant I actually kept on going back and forth whether I should buy this or not because $16.99 minus 30% off like oh my goodness that's such a good deal I actually came here I mean to this shop because I found in our local Facebook group like I found a post there saying that there is a Cebu Blue Pothos and I was really excited when I saw that unfortunately I did not find it anymore in this plant shopping I mean in this plant shopping so yeah that's the only thing that as you can see 30 percent off for house plants right here they have a lot of cool plants they have zz so dracaenas some more philodendrons and as you can see i'm again going back <laughs> to this alocasia halo beauty i just couldn't it was so difficult to say no to but i'm trying to not in add more you know um, add more complicated plants right now because I'm leaving for three months and this plant another headache for my husband so I just did not get it this one is another philodendron it's new red actually not new purple I haven't seen this philodendron before and here again another glimpse of a very beautiful philodendron white princess I mean I don't know I really tried to say no to this plant so hard like my self-control was on the maximum level at this point <laughs> they also have this more philodendron white princess this one i forgot the name of this plant and then here another alocasia this one is an alocasia pink dragon i really wanted this alocasia as well but i just can't add more alocasia right now maybe when i get back from philippines I'll probably add more locations, but not now. It's just not the right time. So they also have these flowering plants right here. It really, like I can really feel that spring is coming when I visited this store. They have more locations right here. This is a philodendron caramel, I think. Yeah, this is a philodendron caramel for $19.99. They really have loads of cool plants. Um, another one philodendron caramel they are even huge like they are not little plants and this one it's the philodendron narrow i think yeah i think it's a philodendron narrow and it's such a cool centerpiece if i had the place or if i had the space for this one 
I probably have bought it already. Like, just look at that. It looks so elegant. Like, just, I don't know. I love plants looking like this. But my biggest problem is the space. I really cannot cater this kind of size nor this kind of growth pattern. Because look how much um, vertical space it takes up. It's a lot. So, yeah, I just can only adore this plant from afar. So that's all I did. Just look how huge that leaf is. There is one more leaf right there. It's such a pretty plant. Oh my goodness. And <laughs> so yeah, so here is a ZZ plant. They also have Schefflerus. Just look at this huge Trifidophora tetrasperma. This one is so big. Like this plant is really huge. They also have this very beautiful Schefflerus. Chef Lara, oh my goodness, they really have this beautiful Chef, Ra little Chef Lara as well. And here, this one, more succulents and cacti. Oh, if only I don't have a deal with my husband where I can only keep few cacti or euphorbias in general at home, I would have gotten few of this. I really wanted the Grandiflora one, but it's a cacti, it's a cactus, so. I couldn't. <laughs> um, this one, there's more cacti right here, some more succulents. I also found here a variegated opuntia, but I think you'll see it later. And they also have some really cool sensivirias. The name of the sensivirias I'm honestly not very familiar of because they're quite difficult for me. They have kalankoi, some more succulents, some Crassulas. I think this one is a Sinesho. I don't know. <laughs> um, this one, they have really cute succulents with pots already. This one, I so wanted this. It's a Ripsalis because it looks so cool in person. But I can't look at the size of this agave. It's so big. I just didn't see the price. And then there's more Ripsalis, more cacti. They have really cute... Um, cacti in pots or succulents in pots and I really wanted one cacti I mean one cactus they have variegated bear paws as well which are so cute I did not get one because I already have one which is currently transitioning to Lekka as well they have a lot of healthy crassulas variegated ones as well as the regular green ones they have a lot of this is the variegated Opuntia, this one, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I so want a variegated Opuntia, but I don't know, I don't think I can handle the repotting of Opuntia. So I just, again, adore them from afar. So that's all I do <laughs> in this case. They have a lot, lot, lot of plants. There is this one, I do not know. Um, This one is a Ficus Alley. I do have this one already in my collection. I think I've had it for about three years, two years now. I actually have the haul as well in my channel of my, where I found my Ficus Alley. This one is a really big Ficus pole or column. I'm not sure how to call it. And then here are their orchids. Look how pretty these orchids are. It's insane. Please look at the colors of these orchids. They are, oh my goodness, Only if only I could. No, they are just way too expensive for me right now. This one is for $4.99. Again, minus 30% off. I already have this um, succulent though. That's why I did not buy it. But if I did not have that succulent, I would have bought it. This one is a variegated bear paw. And then they also have the regular one. I'm so saying... I mean, I'm so trying to say no to that variegated succulent because I really want it. This one, they look how pretty this palm tree is. I think, I'm not sure if, oh no, it's not a sago palm. But they have a lot. They also have some fico, bonsai ficus. And then right here, look at this huge crassula. Look at that. Like, it's so incredible how huge these crassulas are. I mean, crassulas are such a slow grower. Mine is still so little after having it for few years already and still so little. So I cannot imagine how old this plant is. And here are some more kalankoes right here. 
And here is a really big banana that's already a like a proper size banana that can already give you fruit. But I do not know where I would put this banana because this is a proper banana for like 195, 195 euros. They also have a lot of these cymbidium orchids, I think. And look how beautiful these orchids are. This is exactly the reason why I don't want to put any stake or trellis for my orchids because look how pretty they are when the flowers are just hanging. That's exactly the look that I want to go for and exactly why I'm collecting orchids and want to put them in the shelf because oh my god, just look how pretty they are. That's exactly the look that I want. They have so many orchids here. I think this one was about 40 euros or 30 euros. However, it's included in the sale of 30% off. So at that time, it was it would be like about 25 30 euros but it's still expensive so that's why i try to buy them on the clearance and i already have this kind of orchid though it's still it hasn't flowered under my care i was able to snag one for four euros because it was in the clearance section so yeah they have different backyards some more ferns right here they have a lot of plants it, like they just really have a lot of cool plants they have these narcissus i think hyacinth which are really saying that spring is already here because as soon as i see those plants it feels like it's already springtime they also have a lot of air plants and as well as the seropegia woodii or the string of hearts so these ones are kind of like they grow so fast so i would probably buy just a cutting and grow them and they would grow already so big in a year time and then they have loads loads of air plants i wanted to actually try to buy one but then i don't even know how to take care of them i've seen people just soaking them but yeah so these are the kokodama um plants they have this crocodile fern right here which is so pretty some raffidophora tetrasperma and then there's another fern right here i'm just not a big fan of ferns because they're quite difficult to like make them happy you know it's quite difficult they really need quite a bit of humidity and a lot of moist then this one is another ficus which i think i had before and killed so fast and then there's this curly spider plant which is so cute i really like this spider plant for some reason it's really curly i would love to see or i think i had one before but then i killed it yeah i don't know how i killed it but i did and then they have a lot of palm trees as well from smaller ones to the bigger sizes and then here is their clearance section they have some orchids in their clearance section which are not really looking pretty nice but i mean it's a clearance section it's really more of a rescue operation <laughs> when we buy something from this area there's this um orchid right here phalaenopsis for 13 euros so i was a bit like okay that's quite a bit i think considering that it's in the clearance section so i did not understand how it's for 13 euros maybe it's a rare kind of phalaenopsis i do not know to be honest there's this cymbidis some of the orchids here still has flowers but then like um their flowers are about to wilt already and here is a very big scissors discolor just look at the size of their leaves that's like the bigger than my hand this is the biggest scissors discolor leaves i've ever seen i have scissors discolor but not this big they are still pretty tiny like mine mine ones they have a baby banana ficus defenbachia and then there's this one ficus umbilata i don't know for 279 but i think this one was on 50 percent off if i'm not mistaken and uh, this one though is really big already this is the fic the biggest ficus umbilata i've ever seen that is being sold in the big box store i've seen other ones before but a lot smaller than this and then here i am again going back to the white princess i'm so tempted i'm so tempted and then right here they have more succulents look at that really cute cat pot look at that face he's so cute 
I think this is the Grandiflora that I really, really wanted, but I wasn't able to get. They have this like set of three cacti or three, yeah, three cacti with a pot and with this house thing for like 30 euros or something. They have these little aloe veras. They have, are they aloe veras or agaves? I'm not sure. They have some more salads. This one, I'm really liking it. And they have these really big, like not very big, but quite long string of pearls, the variegated ones for like 30 euros, but 30% off. So this pot right here is for 20 euros after the sale. So they have quite a few pots available. I actually was able to buy a cutting of string of pearls for I think 7 euros. It was little cutting. And bit by bit, I grew it into a substantial plant. It's not as long as this one though, like mine is not as big as this one. But yeah, I don't think I would buy this one for 20 euros though. And then they have some variegated Hoya Kerry. Kerry, hi. Oh my goodness. Some more variegated um, succulents. And then here they have Rolfing Sansevieria. Some sun this is the one the wealthine one or the Vict oh the victoria for nine euros so about six euros after the 30 percent off this one is a really big wealthine sensiveria like that one's really wide and really big and then they have really huge succulents as well like the bigger than my hand and my hand though is not the biggest but still <laughs> it's still quite a big succulent they have the this is the variegated bear paw they have a lot of variegated bear pots, which are actually so cute. I would, if I did not have any variegated bear paw right now, I probably snagged probably two to three pots of it and put it together in a bigger pot. And then some more here, crotons. I remember when I was younger, I used to play with crotons as barbecue. <laughs> like we used to play it with my neighbors, like my childhood friends, like, the leaves of crotons are the meat and then we use skewers and skew the <laughs> leaves so yeah i had a childhood i have a childhood memory with crotons so these are the flamingo um ethereums they also have a lot of orchids look at these orchids right here they are so beautiful like their colors and everything i really love the violet orchids they also have this really cool plant i've never seen this one before i don't even uh, yeah i really don't think i've seen it before and then here they have a lot of begonias i really want to buy this begonia i mean i really wanted to but then i do not know if my husband would like to take care of begonias while i'm not around so it, <laughs> it's, I don't think it's a good idea to do it. This begonia, this pot of begonia is 20 euros. So I was a bit shocked. So it's kind of on the expensive side. I've never seen this begonia being sold for 20 euros, I think. They have a lot of beautiful Rex begonias though. They have the begonia shamos. This one right here, if I'm, I don't know if I'm remembering it correctly. But as what I remember, this is the begonia shamos. And then this one is so beautiful. It's so sparkly. They do have quite a bit of begonias as well as peperomias. They have as well peperomia watermelon, watermelon peperomia. But this one as well is really cool, cool looking. But yeah, I have some peperomias right now that are currently in Lekka and I'm really, really happy with how they're looking. So maybe when I get back, I'll snag some more peperomias. But not now, not anymore. <laughs> There's the watermelon peperomia I was talking about earlier. They also have the purple passion. Is that how they're called? These hairy purple plants? Um, I think so. That's how they're called. <laughs> so yeah, some more peperomias. I think that's a peperomia pixie, the smaller ones. They really have a lot of cool plants at this time. I think if I wasn't leaving, like this time i mean in march i would i would have already snagged a lot of plants and this one this plant i so wanted this this is the begonia i mean this is the begonia seriously that i so wanted to buy but then i had to remember i will not be here 
for quite a long time to take care of the plant so I had to just try not to buy any begonias any alocasias mostly like that peperomias as well because they're quite tricky when they're in soil I mean in my opinion they're quite tricky when they're in soil so this is the watermelon peperomia in a closer look I did not buy this one though because I already have one that is currently transitioning to Lekka. These are the really cool plants I found in this store. And as soon as I walked into the cashier, this is what I saw. Like how cool is this plant wall right here? Those are the plants I currently have on offer. They do have one more shop here in Vilnius and I'm really, I'll try to go to that other shop but maybe it will be in another video. I don't know if I can make it on time. So I wasn't able to grab any plant that I want to get or like I really feel like I really want the plant because this is the first time I've seen the philodendron white princess and I feel like I'm more of like, you know, like starstruck when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I didn't want to buy it for the first time I've seen it. I will try to think about it first. If I'll see it the next time, maybe I'll buy it then. But now I don't want to buy it yet. I want to plant shopping, but I don't want to buy a lot of plants because, yeah, I'll be leaving in five weeks time. So, yes, but instead I bought a pot, this terracotta pot for two euros because they have 30% off as well on pot. So I bought this pot because I'll be using it for my Aglonema communatum, which I bought on my last plant shopping video so that I can put it in soil for now because I don't think I have enough time to convert that plant to Laka. So because if I only have five weeks left and if I will convert it now, maybe something goes wrong while I'm not around. So yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And Comment down below which of those plants would you like to add in your collection. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.